Hey everyone, I'm Katie. And I'm Chris. And this is Blue. We live in a pretty unique camper van. We spent just under a year converting the samples into our home. I say under a year, but the process is ongoing and seemingly endless at times. <laughs> Occasionally things go exactly as planned, but almost all of the time things are very unknown. It wouldn't be an adventure if everything would work. Follow along as we do some camper van how to uh, outdoor recreation, just van life living and roadside mishap. Uh, you can also follow along with our adventure at Adventure Ambulance on Instagram. See the link in the description for us. Thanks everyone. So now I'm gonna give you all a quick walkthrough tour and show you where we're currently standing with our build. It is definitely livable at this point. This is the view coming into the box from the pass-through into the cab. It's kind of nice. You can go back and forth. I will link you to some of the materials that you might be seeing or just some of our favorite van items. Uh, you might notice that there's some custom upholstery on the doors and on the bench. That was all done by hand. We'll go over that. We also added windows and fans, which we'll talk about in some of our later posts. We ordered a custom Nautilus shower door, self-cleaning. It's also sized exactly to our tiny little space. Pretty easy to operate. Go right on in and there's a shower that's just big enough. It's pretty nice. We can shower inside. We can also shower outside. And we have this dual light and fan. Um, for these upper rear cabinets, we decided to just repurpose the existing cabinets and their cabinet faces from the ambulance. They are super sturdy, easy to operate. Over here, we have our custom-made cabinet by us. Um, some nice, pretty dinnerware by Bare Bones Living. Cups and mugs, reusable paper towels, and a little fruit and veggie basket. Down here, we have our propane Dometic stove and our Dometic mini fridge. We have two storage drawers and two storage cabinets for food, pots, pans, that sort of thing. Here is our switchboard panel. It controls our lights. You might recognize it from like a boat type switch panel. We also have our inverter, some outlets. We can charge our phones here. It also controls exterior lights, heating, cooling. Here we have our little dining and seating area. To the left, there is the pre-existing ambulance bench with a seatbelt. And on the right, there's a stowaway bench. On the table, there are these little hand-painted knobs. The table stows away super easily. You just slide it away. And the bench also just slides right under the kitchen sink. Um, the majority of our clothes are in these two big drawers. Uh, have a little accordion drawer since our water tank is under the bed. There's not much space. Under the bench, there's more storage for books, shoes, dog food, and it has multiple access points. So that was a very quick overview. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're excited to see some more from us. Thanks. Bye.